Rita. Hello again, everybody. The class of 2015 and the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame is officially inducted tonight at the Crown Plaza Airport. The group spans a variety of sports and time periods, but they have at least one thing in common, greatness. Derek Forrest reports. A new class of inductees will head into the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame. And like last year, one of the inductees isn't a person. Last year, Valhalla Golf Club made it to the hall, while this year, Keeneland Racecourse will enter. The world's top auction house will be honored, and the track hosted its first meet way back in October of 1936. As for the individuals, Louisville has a native entering the hall. Fairdale's own Lloyd Gardner was on the bench in 1994 when his Fairdale team won the state title, beating Paul Dunbar 59-56. He also won three regional titles with the Bulldogs. The man they called Pink was also a part of the 1975 World Championship Kentucky Colonels team. Another notable inductee was Paul Sandiford, who was the women's head coach for Western Kentucky from 1982 through 1997. He then helped out the men's basketball program as an assistant from 2003 to 2007. Sandiford helped put the women's program on the map. During his 15-year tenure, his team had 15 winning seasons, with 14 postseason tournament appearances, including three Final Fours in 1985, 86, and 92. That year was a runner-up finish. Along with those three, four others will head to the hall. Major League umpire Randy Marsh, Laurel County basketball player Sharon Garland, who helped lead the Lady Cardinals to three straight state titles in the late 70s. Valley High School track athlete Shandy Boyd Smith, who was a two time Gatorade Athlete of the Year and a seven time Big Ten champion with Ohio State, and Mel Purcell, who was one of the more entertaining players to watch in the ATP Tour in the 80s. He won Rookie of the Year in 1980 and was ranked as high as 17th in the world.